feel like I'm losing my mind Is everybody in the world blind? Please, Lord, give me a sign A sign Alright, alright, boy Trigger Man back in the lab And today, what we have here What we got here, man, Toyota Camry 1H1 paint code Another paint in the butt it's something like that 1G3, pain in the butt, man. You know what I'm saying? But it's what we're we gonna do today. We already 2K'd up, so I ain't gonna even, um, I'm not even gonna apply no sealer, man. We just gonna get straight to it, you know what I mean? And today, man, I done had this stuff on hand for two weeks now, and I haven't had the right color to put it on, and it still ain't the right color. But man, I'm itching to try this stuff out, man. We, we finna go ahead and we gonna do this here Grant 7. That, um, oh, my god <laughs> that's what we're gonna do today man i'm, I'm too curious uh, I, I really ain't got that right color that i want to put it on but it'll still give me an idea on this hill you know what i'm saying it'll give y'all an idea as well too but i really want to put it on something deep or oh, radiant blue or orange or you know what i'm saying something like that but i don't see nothing in the near future in the shop with those colors on it so i'm gonna just go ahead and drop a little bit on here i just want to use a little bit of it you know i ain't gonna use much but I'm curious to see what this thing do, man. You know what I mean? Man sent it out to me. Shout out Grant7 for dealing with the trigger, man. You know, I books with your boy. But uh, yeah, we're going to see what it do, man. Yeah, I'm curious. I'm real curious to see what it's going to do on this thing. So 1H1 Toyota. Paint in the butt color. We're going to blend them out and we're going to send them out. You know what I'm saying? No repeaters here. No repeaters. No repeaters. No repeaters with the Grand 7. And then with the Grand 7, what I'm gonna do, man, I'm gonna go ahead and hit them with the BIM Goldilocks. Y'all know I don't bring Goldilocks out. I think I did one job on the channel with Goldilocks. That was that, that, was that job I did um, for the Jamaican dude. When I went down to his shop and sprayed it, I wasn't sure about his materials. So I take this gun with me because this is pretty much a universal gun for me. I can lay down pretty much any clear coat with it. So. Being this is my first time with this Grant 7, I wanna make sure I get it right, man. You know what I mean? I don't, I don't wanna make the man look bad if his product is really good and being on me. You know what I mean? Everybody else out there make that stuff look glass. So if Trigger Man don't do it, what Trigger Man look like? Ass, you know what I'm saying? And we ain't trying to go there, nah. Matter of fact, if it come out looking like ass, I'm gonna delete the whole video. <laughs> we act like it didn't never happen. You know what I mean? I can't go out like that. <laughs> but yeah, man, so we are gonna go ahead, mix up, mass up, and we gonna get to it. Boom. All right, all right. Let's get to it. Let's get to it. Yeah, this paint, this paint cold here, man. Paint the butt. Show y'all this. Spray them Toyotas, man. You know about them. 2-0. 20 PSI. 20 PSI on the GTI. I'm basing this one out with my developer's GTI. Old school gun. But it's one of my favorites, man. Matter of fact, my very first gun, if you watched the channel before, you've heard me say it. This was the very first spray gun that I purchased while in vocational school. And I'm still spraying with it 25 years later. And it's still laying down metallics just as good. You see, first coat, most of my coverage. A little burn through there. Can't blame nobody about that burn through. That was me. I prepped this one. The trigger man. I prepped this. Also, man, I want you guys to see how flat those panels are. Yeah, there's no shine at all on those panels. That plays a big part, too, on your blends, man, and why a lot of you guys need wet beds, you know, why the wet beds are overused. You see how I wipe that? No color on my finger. You see there? Very little color. That's what you want on your blend panels when you're blending. Yeah, that's what you want. But, yeah, you want to make sure you kill all the shine, kill most of the orange peel if you can on those blend panels. You know, that's going to help. You do not really need that wet bed as much. You know, it's pretty much all in the prepping, man. If you get it prepped right, look how I'm going here. Look how I'm blending this out. I'm staying pretty close. Let's stay pretty. I had a little, another little burn up on the top there I'm taking care of. And that's all me. I can't blame nobody. I was training a couple guys, showing them how to do it. And um, again, you see there? Clean. You don't want too much color on your hand. I'm going with a slow reducer and you want to keep that base kind of wet you want to you see how I'm in close when I'm spraying it and see it's already dry to the touch right there 
it's not dry it's still drying there's solvent still coming out so it's not dry but it um i'm touching it slapping it it's not wet wet you know it's still drying but um yeah keep that keep your base on those metallics those hard those hard to hard to blend metallics you want to keep that stuff somewhat wet you see how i'm there see how i'm spraying that wet see how i'm doing my blend and just fanning it out you know you want to keep those blends medium wet you don't want to have the gun way back you know doing all that dry air you know all over the place Trigger, man. and this is it man that's it that's done you know what i mean you don't really need a drop coat you don't need you don't need any of any of that after this you know you can see right there on the tape no paint no paint and again after all that blending still very little very little overspray you know no sand piling none of that and that's what you want to see now i'm going with this grant seven with this pancake syrup that's straight pancake syrup right there man yeah and also on those blend panels man some of you guys asked me you know it's 600 you know certain colors 600 other colors 800 some colors a thousand what i like to do personally just go in the middle 800 across the board you know you can't go wrong you know i prepped this vehicle with 800 and you'll see the outcome of it i mean it works fine solid colors metallics you can't go wrong with 800 you know if you're gonna confuse and in between different different grits and you hear different channels say this and say that you know you can't go wrong with 800 on everything so for me i just do every blend panel 800 that's what works for me See this stuff is so thick, man. This has got to be the thickest clear I've ever I've ever sprayed. Now I'm going to my reducer. Going with some slow. It's a medium activator he sent me out. Um, right now it's 93, 94 degrees in my spray booth smaller panels so i get away with a medium you know anything larger than that a whole side or a front clip plus a side i will go into a slow activator my preference but you know it's two panels so a medium will do just fine and i reduced it out 10 percent looks like it's okay now i'm going with the trigger man tunnel if you're new to the channel you probably missed this but we call this here the Trigger Man Tunnel. If you want a flawless blend, check it out. Yeah, I said flawless. I can say that. What I do here, put my tape up under, two inch tape. Put your two inch tape under the edge of it. Let it fall on there. Stick it, flip it. And what this will do is keep that edge nice and stiff. So in case you go up with your clear and the clear hits that edge of that paper it doesn't flap down into a wet panel you know, that keeps it pretty stiff right there i put a little tape little tab right there on the end so when you're ready to blend it see it's flipping you can take it pull it right off and fold it back and do your blend now what i do give it a little extra support i really like to keep these here real stiff you know i don't i don't like that paper or plastic or nothing down on my blend panel you know you want that thing open you see when clear hits it it won't knock it down it won't touch your panel then you can lift it right up and do finish your blend that's the trigger man tunnel okay now I'm giving it a tack before the clear yeah so for me I go with all of my panels everything 800 you know the guys that I train to come in and do this it's just 800 you know some people like to use six you know but six it stands an easier chance to burn through plus you know the metallics fall inside of those 600 grit scratches then you got to use a wet bed and more wet bed just is more spraying in the air more chance of dirt more chance of orange peel it's just it's if it's not needed you know don't use it you know one with the pro light 
25 PSI. I'm giving it a little test. You know, this is my first time spraying this clear at all, right there on the channel. You know, I didn't do no test panels or anything, so I'm just trying to feel it out. And as I'm spraying it, it's like it's not it's not it's not flowing right for me. It's not flowing right for me. Something ain't right. Something ain't right. The thing too thick, man. It's too thick. Like a chick with a size seven trying to fit in a size three. So what I had to do is add more reducer to it. So I actually have it reduced down to 25%. 25%. And you believe this, it still ain't flowing right for me, man. I mean, of course, that looks good to you on camera, but I'm telling you straight that it's not flowing right. A lot of stuff you guys see on camera, man, it, it look okay and it's shiny and all, but you really can't, you really can't tell, tell like 100%. Man, it looks okay, but it wasn't right for me. It wasn't right. And that's 25% reduction. Right, right. Halftime show, man. Halftime. We need a halftime in here. Hey, boy, this stuff here, too. This some thick stuff here, boy. I ain't never painted nothing this thick, boy. This stuff, God. So that one coat with the Pro Light, and that Pro Light, I got a 1.4 and a TE20 cap, which usually that thing lay down anything I done put through it. But I mean, it's putting it, it's laying it down, but. From what I've seen, you know, the people that spray it and the way it look with their stuff, like I wanna, I wanna give it a, another try with something else. I'm, I'm gonna use a um, LPH 400 on this second coat and see if that can handle it. I mean, this stuff is thick. I reduced the 10%, which I never put reducer in, in clear, you know, but just mixing it and stirring it around, that stuff was thick, thick. I mean, I can see why the people use this on like those custom jobs where they put all the flakes in it. You're doing all those flakes and pearls and you know, when you finish, they like to stand up a little bit and you got to cut and buff them. I think this stuff will bury that stuff, man. This stuff is super thick. But um, yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and put it through here and we're gonna see what it do, man. Second final coat, Grant 7, fingers crossed. Boop. Okay, and the LPH, that's what was missing, man. That LPH brought it in, it laid it down. I was pleased with it. Um, my overall impression of the clear, I think it's a real good clear. It's clear, it's not a yellowish tinted clear like some of those clears, those cheaper ones have a yellowish tint where you can't really go to the end of your blend panel because it'll change the color and give you a color mismatch. This is actually clear. Um, it's super thick, heavy. I think it's ideal for people doing custom work, but it can also be done in the production shop like I'm in here. You know, most of my vehicles go the same day. I got to get them pretty clean, pretty flat, and they're out the door. And um, and that's what happened with this one. I had two specks of dirt in this job, so I didn't even wet sand and buff it. You know, it was two little specks. So everything you're going to see outside of the booth, nothing has been cut and buffed. Here I'm going with the blending agent here, aerosol. Spray that there right up to the paper. Get up to your paper, fold it back, and then go ahead and bring that on in. And you'll never have to wet sand and buff a blend ever. You may hand rub it if you want, but that's right out the door, man. All right, all right, we got it done, we got it done. Hey, boy, that's some thick stuff, man. Thick, thick, thick stuff. I'm talking about Georgia peach thick. BBW thick. You know what I'm saying? It's thick. Thicker than a snicker. And you see the blend, man. Blend flawless, man. No wet bed. No wet bed. We're gonna get y'all off the wet bed, man. That's the baby bottle. We're gonna get y'all off the baby bottle. We'll get y'all off of that, man. We're gonna get you painting right, right way. You know what I mean? But the Grant 7, yeah, he legit, man. He legit. He's super thick though. You know what I mean, yeah, them custom guys, the metallics, the metallics, whole bunch of flakes and pearls and all that stuff. Like this, that's why they use, now I see why they use this stuff. But this stuff will bury that stuff, man. You know, I sprayed them before in the past and you had the metallic still sticking up through the clear. And they're gonna stand a chance with this here. But this is just my test run. You know, Grant, Grant told me, he said, do a, do a test panel first before you paint an actual job with it. And you know, Trick Man Hardhead, I feel like I can make anything work, which I did. 
but I see what he was saying. You know, he told me do a test panel, like an old fender or something, do a test panel so you can see how much reducer you gotta add, how much pressure. But um, this is my test panel. And I still got a whole lot more of the clear to do a real nice job with. So this was just something quick and fast and I just wanted to try it out, man. The can was just sitting there looking at me for two weeks now and it's like, now or never. You know what I'm saying, one of those. <laughs> but yeah, I like it, man. It's good stuff, good stuff. Yeah, they go to blend on the Trigger Man Tunnel. I mean, you don't see nothing, man. Tell me what you see. Keep it real. Tell me what you see out there. Anything? Not even a trace, man, not a trace. Nah, this one came out good, it was good. Not too much dirt either. Anyway, man, boy, Trigger, I'm gonna get up out of here, catch y'all on the next one. Boop. All right, all right, this is what we looking like outside. Just pulled it out the booth. Just pulled it out the booth. So, man, I chased the sun for y'all, man. I put it directly in the sunlight. You see that blend what I was telling you? I mean, the blend is good, man. No wet bed, none of that, you know what I mean? So the Grant 7 held up, and if it was gonna die back, if it was gonna die back, it would've died back already overnight. You know, you come in, them cheap clears, you come in, and they just be, it be died back. It do that overnight, so, you know. That Grant 7 on there, boy, he's straight glass. Grant 7 glass. Hey, man, catch y'all in the next one. Boop. So this is what we're looking like out in the sun again. Different angle in front of the shop. You know, I don't hide nothing in the shade for you guys, man. If the sun is out, I go and chase it, man. I want y'all to see, you know. But, um, yeah, there's 25% reduction. I was hesitant that when I walked in the next morning, it might have died back on me. That's why I don't put reducer in clears because it will die back overnight. And this stuff stayed the same way I left it when I went home that night, man. Showing you here, I still have a speck of dirt in there. Nothing was cut and buff. This is right out of the booth. Right out of the booth. So I say the clear is solid, man. That's, that's my honest opinion on it. I'm going to do another job, a bigger job with it. But... For now, as a test run, the clear is solid, man. And I don't think you can go wrong with it. Keep in mind, I don't know this man, Grant Seven. I don't know what he looked like. I don't know what he sound like. He hit me up in my comments, said he was gonna send me something if I wanted to try it. I said, sure, go ahead. Cause I seen it on YouTube for years, man. Them guys spray all them candies and custom jobs. Like, it'll be an honor to go ahead and spray it. You know what I'm saying? So I don't know this man from a hole in the wall, man. So I don't owe him nothing. I'm just telling y'all straight up, the product is good. You know what I'm saying? You can use it for custom work, which I think it's more appropriate for. But as you can see, you make it work in a production shop as well. With 25% reduction, I got just as good results as I do with our Glamour Clear that we use. So I think it's a great product. I'm going to leave a link in the description for the product. You know, it's nothing paid. It's not affiliate. I don't get anything out of it. Just if you're curious and you want to try it out. I think they got smaller kits, bigger kits. You know, go ahead and see for yourself. Anyway, this is your boy Trigger signing off. Please like, share, subscribe, tell a friend, and please tell his girlfriend. Peace.